Hey guys, what is up? It is XX Madhouse here, and today I'm doing a little Fallout 4 tutorial on how to uh, get a lot of experience really fast. I started off at like level 17 with this, and I'm level 26 or 27 right now. So, I think I should hit the next level during this tutorial, but anyway. Basically, you're going to need the Brotherhood of Steel. After doing a bunch of main storyline missions, you'll see this giant airship, and you'll do a bunch of missions for a guy named Paddle and Dance. Dan's Dance? I really never knew. But, um, then you're gonna have to go on a tour of the ship, and then you'll meet a guy named Proctor Quinlan. And then... You want to go see Proctor Quinlan, and he gives you a couple missions. He gives you a mission to escort scribes, or protect scribes, and technical documents. I'm going to give you a little thing right here. If you come into this room, this little filing cabinet here will give you uh, technical documents. And you're just wanna go you're just gonna wanna bring those to him. And they just give you twenty-five bottle caps, a little extra experience. It's just a little thing to do. It's can't hurt you. So he's gonna ask you that and you're gonna assist on the patrol. Good. Good. There's too much information out there. And it mustn't go to waste. Meet the scribe on the ground. Your mission is to once found. And if there's an echo, I'm sorry. I meant to turn down the audio before the video. Okay, so as long as there's, I hope there's not an echo now, but you're gonna need a sniper. And if you come back here, there's going to be this weapons dealer guy, and he can give you a sniper. That. It's not the best sniper, but it'll work for a while until you can get a better one. I'm looking for some firepower. Sure I've got something that'll put a smile on your face. He will give you... The... This one, the Focus Boosted Laser Sniper. And it's gonna make... You don't need a sniper, per se. But it's going to make the mission really easier. It's going to go a lot smoother and faster for you. And it's a lot easier than the other option. But in case you don't have access to a sniper or you don't have enough bottle caps to get that yet, um, this mission that we're about to do actually gives you 100 bottle caps each time. Or a little under or a little over. And once you do that, you'll have enough. I'm going to explain the other way to do it, too. I'm actually going to do the tutorial in this. I mean, it's not too much different from the way we're about to do it. So, usually, there is a knight right here in full power armor. There is a scribe right there, and a scribe at the far end. Now, you... It took me several tries to kill them without getting noticed. But, you don't have to kill them, but it just makes it a lot easier not to get detected. But I would quick save before you try and do it. And don't kill them out in the open. You need to be hidden and you need to s sneak kill them or whatever. And it's just going to make this a lot smoother. But either way, you still need to stay hidden. Because while you're shooting them, they can notice you even from all the way down there. Let's see, where is it? You're going to aim at that front gate area right there. And you're going to see a scribe in this area here. It's always in this area. There's usually nobody there. So you'll know who your target is. And I usually just like to wait for them to stop. I hate it whenever they walk around a lot like this. And then you're just going to line up your shot. One shot. Usually takes two or three shots with this sniper rifle. Alright, two shots and he's down. And you want to make sure you stay hidden. Because, again, the entire Brotherhood of Steel will be your enemy if they realize you're killing somebody. And it's just its just a lot of pain. So I would recommend quick saving before doing this. Which I'm stupid because I forgot to. But basically after you kill him, you're just going to go back to Proctor Quinlan. And you're going to tell him that the scribe didn't make it or the moron got himself killed. And there's really no difference between the experience or bottle caps you'll get them. It's just depend. It it'll just 
affect his reaction. Like, he'll get a little mad at you if you call the scribe a moron. Moron got himself killed. One hundred fifty, one hundred five bottle caps. Three hundred fifty-four experience. It'll give you anywhere between three hundred and four hundred experience. Assist on a patrol. But each time you fail it, you can just keep on and keep on and keep on redoing it. Let's see if I go to my data. I've done this mission so many times. And I have not completed it once. I mean, I'm not sure if the mission will go away if you complete it, but I really just don't want to take the chance. So, the second way you can do it is you're actually, if you don't have access to a sniper, <coughs> go, you're going to want to go down to the airport once I get down there for you guys. Hmm. Come on. So, you're gonna go find the scribe. It'll be marked on your map, obviously. And like I said, there's no difference between the experience you get either way. doesn't matter how you kill him. He just needs killed. So you're going to come to him. Ready, sir? Let's do this. I'm just going to get out a sniper just so that I can get it more tuned to you guys. Well, not get out a sniper. Or put my sniper away. I'm going to use my short double wear shotgun. Because that's what I think is easiest. You're basically just going to come over to a secluded area. I like this little area because it's not too far from the Brotherhood of Steel. Come on. And where'd he go? Hello? Hello? And if you can find him, where did he go? I am really wondering where he went. Come over to this open area and see if he follows. Stay away from the Meyer lurks. Alright, there he is, finally. Uh, I probably cut out that part of the video because the scribe got lost. I'm going to keep an eye on him this time. Come on. Come on. Not that way. No. No. Alright. Still over there. Come on. This way. This way. Come on. You can do it. What? Oh, okay. Thought my game was starting to glitch. Alright, now because I'm just tired of him and I want to get him over with, you're gonna basically just aim. Just kill him. As long as nobody's around, you shouldn't be able to get found. Let's 
kill him. His head explodes. <laughs> and he falls very weirdly. Oh yeah, another thing. Fusion cells and stim packs. He get they give a lot of those. Like if you get that laser sniper rifle from the store, you'll that'll really come in handy cuz you basically like I just come down here every 6 or 7, just loot them. They give you ton oh, not that one. They give you tons of stim packs and fusion cells. It's just really good way to get you can get bottle caps, fusion cells, stim packs, and then uh there's those hollow tags which give you some materials if you really need those. And they have pretty decent armor, so once you do that, you're basically just going to go up to the Pridwin and do the exact same thing that you do for the other way. You just talk to him. And then I'm going to quick save before I do this next part. This is just the, the infinite. This is for infinite fusion cells. Let's see, oh, I'm detected. Oh, that's why I'm detected. Okay, I need to find a knight that isn't near many people so I think you can do this with really any knight you're gonna pickpocket him oh I don't have very high chance okay so I'm just gonna try this but you guys basically get the idea you're gonna pickpocket the fusion core from the knight and he'll be forced to get out of his power armor so he'll go replenish it I mean, there's no stock or anything, so don't think about following him. But he'll get out of his power armor, put a brand new fusion core in, and it's like he has... It's endless. You can take as many as you want. He'll just keep on getting out and replenishing them. So let's try this. Nope! That is not happening. Not in his house. So just for this last part in this video, I'm gonna kill people till I get murdered. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah, I don't think this is gonna work out very well. All right. There's 113 stim packs. I didn't realize I had that many. Something in the patent. I'm gonna die. Okay. I am getting ripped apart here. Yep, I'm done. That's all for the video. Peace out.